What's up, freaks? This is Steve Says, episode number 73. You see it up there in the headlines. Are you having trouble peaking? Are you having trouble hitting your climax? Basically, that's what we're going to be talking about today on Steve Says, episode number seven, 73. 16 ways you can do it better yourself without anyone else's help. You know, sometimes, sometimes you need to take matters into your own hands. You know, on Steve Says, we are bringing the fucking fire every second of every second. Some people will hate, but most can relate. Let me get you pulled up on the second screen. If you have any questions, comments, add them in down below. Let's talk about it. All right, we are up. We are up and live. So, let's, let's talk about it. What, what do we do here on Steve Says every single week? Steve Says is a live show on how to have a no excuses, badass mindset guiding you to adapt, overcome, and destroy the obstacles preventing your success in your health, your family, and your finances so that you can stop being a little bitch, get your shit together, and start living life on your own fucking terms. Today, the questions today are, are you having trouble getting to that next level of satisfaction? Are you relying on someone else to get you there to that peak, to that climax in your day, in your life? Can you possibly get there faster and better by yourself? Now, I'm just assuming that some of you are interpreting these things. Not as I'm reading it, I'm realizing it might sound a little off. And I'm sure some of you with some sick minds, with your minds in the gutter, are thinking some other things. But you know, as always, Steve says it's a family fucking show. So that wouldn't be what it's like. We're all about adapting and overcoming, becoming a better version of yourself, trusting the process, and of course, making no excuses. So what are we talking about today? What are we talking about with all that? When we're saying you're having trouble hitting your climax of the day, having trouble hitting your peak for the day or in your life. And we're gonna, again, we're going to go over the 16 ways that you can do it better all by yourself. You don't need anyone, anyone else to help you out, to help you get there, to get to where you need to be. And that's why we said sometimes you can take matters into your own hands. So what are we talking about in general? What are we talking about? We are talking about Get your minds out of the gutter. Get your mind out of the fucking gutter. We're talking about self-care. Now, some of these are going to be obvious. Some of these are going to be obvious that you probably already do. Some of them might be reminders and refreshers. Some of them might be obvious, but that you don't do, that you need to get your shit together and you need to start doing. So, obviously, we're going to start off with training, with working out. You know you need strength training. You need your conditioning, your cardio training, a mix of both. What kind of strength training? Really depends on your goals, but in general, get at least three times a week of strength training. Cardio, two or three times a week of your cardio training also. Could be on the same day, could be mixed, however you break it down, as long as you're getting that. So four to five times per week of training, of serious, like high intensity training. Not just bullshitting or going for a walk, but if that's the level you're at, you're at, you're at obviously, whatever level you're talking about. We're not going to spend much time on the workout part because we talk about the workouts all the time. That's just the obvious number one we want to get out of the way. The obvious number two is going to be your nutrition. And with nutrition, about we're talking about self-care. Nutrition for self-care. To give you fuel. To give you energy. To let you have energy throughout the day so you can first to have the fuel for your workout, right? Because we know that was the, the obvious pillar number one. But you need the, the fuel and the energy to drive forward towards your goals, towards your fucking dreams every day. That's going to be fueled by your nutrition. That's going to be fueled by the strength and the durability that you get during your workout and the cardio conditioning. It's all going to be fueled by healthy nutrition. If you're eating a bunch of shit or too much carbs, too much fat, and you're just going to be trudging along all freaking day, you're never going to get where you're going. Guess who's going to, you're, you're going to be left behind in your, in your career, in your profession. Competitors will leave you behind because you're too busy drinking a bunch of shit, eating a bunch of shit you shouldn't be eating, then you need to recover, you need to rest, and you feel like shit, you feel sluggish, and there's all kinds of weird shit going on inside. It's not fueling you in the right way. So nutrition, the easy second one. Some of these, I, I told you, are going to be very common, very obvious, but they are things that you need to be thinking about. So we're going to be talking about it. Also, next is hydration. And of course, that's a simple one. That's why we're not going to spend much time in it. 
Hydration, start with a bottle of, uh, bottle of water right when you wake up in the morning, even more. First thing in the morning, you should be getting anywhere from 20 to 30 ounces of water like right away, right away up to 30 ounces like the second you wake up. I'll right, I'll right off the bat chug about 16 ounces of water and within the next 30 minutes, another 16 to 20 ounces. Just, just to rehydrate myself from sleeping. So much shit's going on when you're sleeping that you need to rehydrate right when you wake up. Just like we need to eat nutrition right when we wake up. So hydration, kickstart the day with at least 30 ounces, around 20 to 30 ounces of water first thing in the morning within the first 30 minutes of freaking waking up. Because your body needs that fuel, it needs that. That's, what, that's your number one nutrient in your body. Number one performance enhancing supplement for your brain, for your muscles, for your body. So you can attack your fucking day and not just be slow motion and all groggy in the morning. You need to wake up with a sense of purpose. The way you're going to do that is your workout, your nutrition, and hydration. Then when it comes to the hydration, a bottle of water with every meal you have throughout the day, every five to six hours a day. Or sorry, every five, five to six meals, every two to three hours a day. Then also water before you work out, during your workout, after your workout, before you go to sleep. Freaking hydrate. We know that already. I'm not going to spend a ton of time on that. Next. After, okay, we worked out, we had nutrition to fuel it, we busted our ass, we got, we, we now hydrated. You also need to freaking recover. Recover means stretching, not overtraining, not overdoing it with your training, making sure you're stretching, foam rolling, make sure you have a variety of your, of your training. That's a recovery. Recovery from one type of exercise can be a different type of exercise. That's still recovery if it's a total different type different energy system, different muscles, different movements, that's recovery. But also just days off. You need to schedule recovery time. You need to have a day off. You can't just go seven days a week for hours a day. Not going to happen. Four to five days a week, six days a week max. All you need is one hour a day. That's it. And, and again, we're going we're to breeze through some of these more obvious ones so we can get to spend a little more time on the others. Next is after recovery, a major component of recovery, but I want to put this one all by itself because it's so freaking important. Sleep. You need your sleep. And I know you, you've heard it for your whole life. Oh, you need seven to eight hours of sleep, all this other crap. And since you're able to survive off of six hours or five hours, maybe even four hours, that's like your badge of honor. That was, that's been my biggest thing holding me back in my health and nutrition and energy for decades Finally starting to get over that hump is sleep. Just because you could survive all four hours of sleep doesn't mean you should. You're not a freaking Navy SEAL. And even they, they only do that for a short amount of time just to accomplish a quick little short mission. Sure, it's good to know that you can semi-operate on, on small amounts of sleep. But the, the studies and all the, the studies on the brain and the neuroscience of sleep and the, the necessity of sleep of a minimum of seven hours, like not even six, from six to seven is a huge difference. The low, the low end would be six, but that's like a very, that's pushing it. That's pushing it. So seven to eight, you already know it, but it's so undeniable. The proof, the studies, the scientific research has been done so much. It's, it's totally conclusive evidence that you need 78 hours. So to say, oh, I could get by by four or five hours of sleep. You're just holding yourself back. It's just a fucking stupid statement. And I made I'm, I'm here to tell you, I made that stupid statement. You used to brag how I only slept four hours a day. And that's what I did for literally a, over a decade. And I'm just thinking of the years that probably took off my life and the way that probably slowed down my progress in all areas of life, in my health, my fitness, career, in the business, in everything, in your fucking brain power, in your learning power, your potential. Everything is slowed down if you don't get enough sleep. It slows everything down. And... It's going gonna, it's gonna to hold you back in all the areas of your life. It's almost like being intoxicated by regularly making a pattern not to get enough sleep. You're going around like a drunk motherfucker all day. So sleep, obvious one, but I just want to drill that one in. It's so obvious that we tend to overlook it because we think we could just survive without it. You're not, you're not different. You're not some unique fucking snowflake. You need to get your sleep. I'm here to tell you that I made that mistake personally for day, for years and years, decades. Next, one that you probably wouldn't realize that I do and I've been doing now for at least a year now, twice a day. First thing after I wake up is, is get my hydration, a quick protein shake or some little small meal, depending on what time I'm working out that day. Meditation. I will do a minimum of 10 minutes close within that first Right away when I'm waking up and 10 minutes right before I go to sleep. 
meditation you need. There's so much shit going on, especially if you're freaking crazy like me and you're working on trying to always thinking of so many different things. You need to focus. You need to have laser beam focus on one freaking thing at a time. The way you can control that and exercise your mind and rest your mind is meditation and focus. And it's hard. It's harder than you think sometimes. It's harder than you think. There was one drill when I first started. You just have to count 10 deep breaths in and out. Count to 10. Anytime you lost your focus, you had to start counting over again. It took sometimes, I couldn't get to 10, you can't even get to 10 sometimes. You think, you focus. All right, this time I'm going to get to 10. You just breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth, one. In through your nose, out through your mouth, deep breath, two. Your mind will take over. You'll start thinking about some weird, off-the-wall, fucking crazy shit by the time you get to five or six, and you have to start over again. And you focus. All right, this time I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. It's practice, because you need to control your mind. Your mind is fucking whacked. It's whacked. All right, let's just tell it like it is. You need to control it. You need to see why see. Control your crazy. Meditation is a huge way that can help you control your crazy. All right, so the next one. So, so far, we had workout, nutrition, Hydrate, recover, sleep, meditation was number six. Number seven is structure your day. Structure your schedule. Make time blocks in 30-minute increments throughout your day. Know exactly what you're doing, where you will be, what exactly you're working on, who you'll be meeting with every single day. That, that's, that's, an, that's a professional right there. That is a pro. If, if I could look at your calendar and see what you're doing next Wednesday... Not this Wednesday, not tomorrow, next Wednesday at 2.30 p.m. And it's on your calendar and it shows me exactly what you're going to be doing. That's a pro. That's someone who's going to the next level. That's someone who is going to climax. That's someone who's going to fucking peak. Although we're never going to peak. You're going to peak for the time being. Then we're going to find a new peak, right? Although we are peak physique, we never freaking peak. So what we got down there? CYC. Yes, CYC. Structure your day, your schedule. Like... Have your morning rituals. Like right, I, I can tell you literally up to the minute, how many minutes of what I'm doing from when I wake up at 4 a.m. all the way until at least 6 p.m. up to the minute. After that, it might vary a little bit depending on, and that's almost like free time. Of course, I'll still be working sometimes after that time. 4 a.m. to 6 p.m., there's not a minute that goes unaccounted for it that I don't know what I'm doing every day. And it's scheduled weeks in advance, usually sometimes months in advance. Schedule it. Time block it. Break it down. Control your fucking day. Control your morning. Have a morning ritual. Follow it. Like, I can't... When I get up, it's like with fire, with passion, with energy, with enthusiasm. Because I know exactly what's going on. I know what's coming up. There's no guesswork. There's no stress work. It's like, it's all under my control. So you need to control your morning. Control your day. It's going to control your week. It's going to control your freaking month, your year, your fucking life. Structure and schedule your day. Break it up into time blocks. Take the time to do it. Figure out what you need to do, where you need to be. Break it down. Stick to it. Don't break it for anything other than a life or death situation. Next is to now work more effective, efficient, and productive. So that work that you're doing, right? So now we break that into 30-minute 30, 30 time blocks. I'll put a timer on my desk sometimes. All right, I have 30 minutes to do this task. If it's a longer task, I'll just give it two 30-minute blocks. Set the timer for 30 minutes. It's like, go. And that timer is right in front of my face the entire time. Like, the pressure is on. The heat is on. I will put pressure on myself. I will push and pressure myself to be fucking productive. I love the word P for some reason. Anyway, you, you need to work more effective, more efficiently. Don't waste time on stupid little tasks. Work on the big, important things that are going to move your life. Move you towards your goals. Move you towards the direction you're going, towards your dreams. That's what you need to do. Which, the next one is... Don't, so that was being more productive and efficient with the actual work you're doing. Now the next one, which I want to make it all by itself because it's just so important also, don't waste fucking time. Don't waste time. You waste time on so much stupid little shit. You waste time on putting out little stupid fires that you're, you shouldn't be worrying about. You, you, you have your 30 minute time block, right? You only have 30 minutes to, to complete a task. And any amount of time less than 30 minutes, you probably won't be able to get it done, right? So you need to be laser beam focused on that. But then your little phone starts tweetering. And you see a notification from the fucking tweeter, tweeter gods. And so you start responding to a quick message. Then you go back to your work. Then the phone rings, you answer it. You're on it for five, six minutes. You hang it up and you go back to work. You're not getting your shit done. Plus, you had laser beam folks on 30 minutes, right? You are locked and loaded. Fucking ba 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 Working on whatever you're doing for that 30 minutes. The second you fucking stop to go answer a little notification. Because someone on the fucking internet 
liked your picture and you want to scroll and see, ooh, 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 how many more likes did I get on my picture today? Because you want some, some dopamine hit in your fucking head? You just killed that whole task. Now to get refocused back on that task is going to take you several minutes just to get back into that zone. Wait a minute, where was I? What was I doing? All because you want some fucking dopamine because you want to see, did, did I get... T- up to 10 likes. Oh my God, why didn't I get a lot of likes in this picture? And you get all depressed. You start thinking about it. Now you go put some more pictures and some more shit on the freaking internet because you need the likes. You know dopamine is as addictive or even more addictive than fucking cocaine? Like literally? Like more addictive than cocaine. You scroll. You spend half your day fucking scrolling to, to get that you know approval, your approval seeking and self-validation that someone liked your shit on the fucking internet. It's crazy. It's crazy. And, and that's what they gear it towards to make you be addicted to that shit so that you could just keep doing more and more and more and more and, you, and, and, and it keeps growing on the social media. Don't waste time. Block your schedule time for your social media. Next. And this is all part of in the structure and schedule, but these all deserve their separate time, right? So we had the structure and schedule with time blocking. Then we had work more efficient, effectively, and productive. Then we had don't waste time. Now, all those technical fitness scheduling, but I want to put those separate because they're important separate points. The next is schedule in your day your breaks. Like literally schedule your break in your day. Now, I said from 4 a.m. to 6 p.m., I know exactly what I'm doing. It doesn't mean I'm fucking working every second of that. I'm working a damn shitload during that time. But in there is scheduled to bring the kids to school. In there is scheduled to eat. Literally to eat. In there is scheduled to get prepare for the workout. In their schedule for stretching, for meditation, and a shitload of freaking work. A shitload of work to keep moving towards the goals and towards the dreams, towards making a bigger impact. But you need to schedule those breaks in your day. Don't just wing it. Don't just go three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hours until you crash and burn. And then you take this long ass, like 50, 60, hour and a half long break. You're never going to get back into that flow. Schedule your breaks. Schedule your break could just mean the end of every hour you get up for five minutes. Stretch, move around, drink some water, shake it out, foam roll, hit your climax, and then back into the back into the schedule. Or schedule a 30-minute break to get some food, take a full break, recover. Then the next, all right, so the next one is you schedule breaks in the day. You also in your day, if you have kids, if not, it's called kid time. Schedule your kid time. It's gotta be in the day, it's got you have to make time for it. And at, right after that, the next one is schedule your family time. So here's, a, here's what kid time is. It's time that is dedicated. There's no phones. There's no checking messages. There's no looking on the freaking internet. There's no computers and none of that stuff. It's kid time. And there's a rule in the peak freak world where if you are on official kid time and you even check your phone on something that's not related to kid time, like you're not checking it or whatever. If you are sitting there doing work or trying to sneak in a check to see if you got a like on your little fucking picture of your ass crack in the mirror that you're doing your duck lips to see if you got the dopamine hit for that. The kids could say, it's kid time, put that shit away. They, you have my permission to say that. Your kids should have their permission to say that. Because you know what? You should be ashamed if you're doing that on kid time. Looking at them ass crack pictures. Kids time, family time was next. Same game. It's focused time on that. Then you need to have time reading. Reading time, literally just reading. Whether it's a physical book, it's a, a book, like a downloaded, you know, a digital version of the book. If that doesn't work for you, if you retain it better, certain books listening, literally put the earphones in, sit down, and listen to the book. Not doing other shit while you're doing it. That is reading time. There's nothing else. Because if you were reading a book, you wouldn't be able to be driving your car at the same time. So why are you going to drive your car while you're listening to the book? Now, I will listen to books. If I've already read it one time, when I repeat it, I'll listen to it while I'm driving the car or working out or something else. But not by its fucking self because you're not going to retain that stuff. Literally sit there, put your earphones on, noise canceling earphones, block out the world, listen to the book, or read the book with an open notepad and a pen and a highlighter. Highlight you need to, take notes we need to, schedule reading time. The next is scheduling smart time. Smart time is different than reading. Reading is literally just reading. Smart time is a learning time. Literally learning, working on some kind of course or online course, something that you have if you're in any college classes, whatever it is. Studying your craft, becoming a better expert in your craft, taking some tests, whatever it is, there's unlimited amounts of resources for actual learning, not just reading. We're talking about learning, like going through courses, whether it's fitness courses, nutrition courses, sales, or something related to your field, your expertise. Schedule your smart time. 
You need to schedule learning time every single day. Now this one, you're going to fucking love. Schedule your stupid time. You got to have stupid time in the day. Not a lot of it, but there should be somewhere in the time, in the day, where you just have stupid time. Because listen, you're doing all this stuff. You're structured. You're rolling. You got a lot done. Sure, you schedule your breaks. Sure, you schedule your kid time and your reading time. So some of it's like relaxed and all this other stuff. But you need stupid time. We're literally you're doing nothing. You're doing nothing. Maybe watch some dumbass fucking episode on Netflix or some stupid ass movie or playing a video game. I'll do all those in my stupid time. But you know what? You got to earn your fucking stupid, stupid time with all this other stuff. There's no such thing as stupid time if you didn't do your workout, if you didn't have good nutrition, if you didn't do your smart time, your reading time, your structured day, if you wasted time that day, there's no fucking time for stupid time. You got to earn your stupid time every day. Stupid time is where it's at. You're going to love stupid time. Earn the fucking stupid time. And last is you need to delete negativity from your day, from your life. That means don't watch the fucking news. Don't read the newspaper. Don't read the magazines because they're all just bullshit propaganda. Whatever the fuck they feel like twisting and making you think about. Whoever got shot and whoever got fucking robbed in broad daylight. The 70-year-old 70, 70 lady got robbed in broad daylight at the mall. Listen, if, if, if you're worried about, oh, I need to know about this stuff. Because I should know about it. If you're always prepared for anything, you never have to get prepared for anything. So just always be prepared. Delete negativity. That includes news, people, family members, and even your own fucking thoughts. You need to delete that shit from your life. That is the 16th and final piece to this puzzle. To make it sure you peak during your day. To climax during your day. Taking it and climaxing in your... Putting the power of the climax in your own fucking hands. Any questions and comments, put them down below. Let's talk about it. You are fucking awesome. Make this shit happen. Follow those 16 steps. I guarantee it will change your life. Guarantee. Guarantee. This is like, this is like a, a billion dollar. Talk about going to take you to the next level. Any questions, comments, put them below. I will talk to you later. You are fucking awesome. No excuses.